What's up? What's going on? What's good? Boxer Soul checking in here. And I wanted to talk about the news of the day when it comes to Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Of course, that particular fight is scheduled to take place on July 20th at the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Of course, you know, not that far from Dallas, Texas. Um, of course, the initial announcement that it would be on Netflix is one thing. But now it seems like we have this being an official fight. Yep, that's right. This fight is going to count. Now, the report is the Combative Sports Department of the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation has approved this fight to be a sanctioned fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. And, you know, receiving this news this morning, that, that was just some crazy, crazy stuff. Because, I mean, here you are, you have uh, Jake Paul, of course, has been active uh, here in the sport of boxing, you know, over the past few years. And then you have Mike Tyson that, you know, had had a couple of exhibition fights here and there. Of course, we know about the exhibition fight that he had against Roy Jones Jr., but nothing where he would be involved professionally in a bout. So having him be part of this and having it actually count on their records professionally is crazy work. Now, by the time this fight takes place, Mike Tyson will be 58 years old and it will be almost 20 years since his last professional fight where he lost against Kevin McBride. Now, you go on the flip side. Jake Paul is 27 years old and, you know, recently had his fight that he <laughs> got a first round knockout victory. Um, and that fight, it was just like, that was almost like a throwaway fight there, you know, but him, you know, kind of like building this record there where he, you know, has, what is it, a record of nine wins and one loss. And, you know, just having that knockout victory. Um, but it's almost like, you know, they want to kind of create the scenery of a quote unquote viral result here for this particular fight. Um, that, you know, either, you know, Jake Paul gets knocked out or Mike Tyson gets knocked out. <laughs> it seems like they're, you know, setting the stage for something like that. But for it to actually be licensed there, you know, from the state of Texas is, is crazy work. It's just absolutely crazy work. Um, and, you know, a number of people that are, you know, within the sport of boxing that have covered, you know, covering the sport of boxing are really not in favor of this. Uh, but, you know, maybe, you know, with the uh, the combative sports uh, thing there for the Texas Department of, uh, you know, licensing and regulation, you know, maybe, you know, they got a little piece of change in order to make that an official fight. So I'm saying that pretty much could have had a hand in all that. Uh, but, you know, with that being said, Having this be, you know, an official bout, like it, it's gonna say, like a whole lot's gonna be on the line. Reputation is gonna be on the line uh, there for both Jake Paul and Mike Tyson uh, for this on July twentieth at the AT and T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Um, now you got, of course, the rematch uh, with Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano that's uh, going to be added on to the card. And uh, if you check out the Boxing Source website, theboxingsource.net, there's word that there will be. A fight within the lightweight division that could be a part of this particular card. But I'm seeing this uh, overall card to be built up as something where a lot of eyes will be tuned in to this event. Uh, so if you're you know, pretty much one, one of those fighters that wants to get, you know, uh, you know, seen, you probably will want to be uh, involved in this card. But going back to this main story here of, you know, the... Um, the commission basically there in Texas approving this fight to be an official fight. It'll be eight rounds and two minute rounds or whatever it is. And they might have other stipulations involved with it. But to actually sanction this as a as a real fight, man, I, yeah, I'm I'm still blown by this. Uh but you can share your thoughts on it uh here with this uh, particular uh, video. Um you can hit the comment, you know, comment thing and, and share your comments. If you like the content here on The Boxing Source, you can hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button. We really appreciate it here at The Boxing Source. Uh, we'll you know, have more content as things go on uh, over the course of the week uh, here. So y'all be sure to tune in. On that note, that's it for me. I'm out.